Hello, hello everybody, it's your Prof Chop. And yesterday we checked, we checked out some uh, MiHoYo animations, some uh, uh, Honkai Impactor animations. Uh, turns out we started from the bottom, now we're here. Okay, we watched the third in a row animation, then the last one, I think. So, uh, a dude in the comments, I pinged him, uh, he, uh, I, 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 I forget what it was called. In his, I made this comment be visible to everybody, whatever. <laughs> He uh, did a playlist, or he had a playlist where it shows like a way that you're supposed to watch them. So we watched this one and this one yesterday, which is kind of weird. Anyway, we're gonna start off from the bottom and see if we can catch a little bit of the story, okay? This is the first one, introducing the Honkai vs. Honkai Operation Center Chapter 1. Let's get it. Captain Unbridge. Greetings, Captains. Welcome to the Honkai Operations Center. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? Yes. What are they fighting for? And what exactly does Honkai mean? We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Today is a basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. Okay. The Honkai-verse is based on a parallel universe that reiterates this conflict, humanity's struggle against the Honkai. The Honkai. But what is the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. It wants to destroy human civilization, and when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Honkai have tried to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters and plagues, and giving birth to Hershers, godlike beings who can bend physical laws. In the Honkaiverse, humanity has already established a high-tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. Modern humans refer to this civilization as the previous era. Okay. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the You're previous dead. era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy humanity, so they didn't leave us in peace even in the current era. 2717 BC was Wait, the date of the early- There is a manga? Uh -huh. Uh, uh, maybe. So just go to find our latest manga. Okay, okay, I gotta check that shit out. Earliest record of the Honkai beast attacks. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped us Ji defeat Xuanyan. these early Honkai monsters. But Ji Xuanyan Kaui. disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai beast Chiyo. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the Roman Empire. Shiksal was led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Shiksal. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. The feudal armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. To increase its power, Shiksal also recruited and trained its own military. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksal fighting Ooh. force, and a legendary Valkyrie is Kalan, Kalan. of House Kaslana. The Kaslanas this? are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. Kal Isn't she the one you get in the start of the game though? Kalan's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, an artifact from the previous era that was very effective against the Honkai. However, many things happened in the year 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused oh, the Great the... Plague and killed no Okay, okay, so it's basically telling the story that went through our timeline IRL, but replacing... Kind of making humanity be one, which is kind of weird, it'd be pretty hard, but I guess we have like one enemy, why not? And this is the Black Plague and shit like that, Crusades, okay, okay, okay. Millions throughout Europe, Interesting. but Sheiksal did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. The war ended with Sheikh okay, well, defeat in Fort. That seems like a lot more of a human nature to do this thing. 1975. <laughs> to pay for the losses, Sheikh increased taxes and took money from the poor. Yoink. These bad decisions only made Sheikh even less popular. When Sheikh tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Otto Apocalypse, a younger son of Sheiksal's ruling dynasty of House Apocalypse, managed to develop a cure in 1475. Although he was not the heir to the seat of Overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. 
The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new overseer. Since then, Did human technology continued to grow. Everyone thought Honkai was gone, cup. but the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952 and destroyed the entirety of Berlin. Oy. The eruption gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. Shiksal, which has become a rather secretive organization by now, quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Shiksal scientists failed to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London. How did you capture this uh, almost godlike powered entity? We send a red haired lolly after him. Easy. Man, I've seen enough anime to believe that shit. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. It was there that the first Hersher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. What? The Einstein scientists and leadership of the North American branch Oi, were already very displeased boy, with Otto's militaristic Hersher. leadership. Some even doubted Otto's willingness to eradicate the Honkai. These differences eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti-Entropy in 1955. Unlike Shiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, Anti-Entropy designed and built Honkai-powered mechs. The second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. <laughs> It turned out that Shiksal were performing many inhumane experiments on Honkai-resistant children. One of them, Siren, awakened and acquired Hersher powers and proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. Shiksal mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. Many Valkyries fell in battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Shiksal. Fourteen years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. The Where outbreak Nagazora? wiped out the entire city and transformed many into zombies. Oh. The cause was the partial awakening of Mei Raiden, the third Hersher, due to an implantation of a Hersher gem. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksal Far East uh, Branch, led by yeah. Teresa Apaco. Lollies in this world are OP as hell, what the hell? Okay, damn they be clapping cheeks left and right. Clips. The few survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, oh. were then enrolled in St. Freya High School. Damn, a Valkyrie brother. Yeah, I definitely need to check out this uh, manga. Freya High School, a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. Mm. Honkai Impact Third starts in the year 2016. 2016. You are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Sheiksal Far East Branch. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We hope this provides a basic understanding of the important events and forces of Honkai Universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes, following the life of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and other Valkyries Ooh, geez, in the Honkaiverse. Okay, let's check out the other one as well. Let's check out the will of Hersher. Oi, oh, Kiana, what are you doing? Okay, so I, I I said that I've played the game a little bit, right? In the beginning, you get these two. And then you get some random ones, I think. Uh, they're friends, maybe more, I don't know. It was a little sus. Not bad sus, good sus, but uh, what are you doing, Kiana? Oh, she's awakening her Hersher shit, right? Yeah, she's got those eyes, like the other ones. <laughs> Evil laugh. Don't look at her butthole, okay? Don't. Oh! One of the good mechs. Oof. 
they teleporting? Yo, their music is fire though. God damn it, Kiana. What are you doing, Kiana? Oh. They're getting clapped. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say that they're getting clapped still, but. The robot just pull off an anime attack. He hit the ground and the shockwave blocked three people. <laughs> okay. She <Chill> release? <laughs> Oi. Bitch. You're doing the same thing. You're going to war to exterminate people. What do, what do you mean? That is jealous, that is greed, that is war. I don't know about cheating. I don't know if you guys fuck over there, but... Goddamn, what do you mean? You guys doing the same shit? The Honkai? The Emperor shall not allow this, little woman. That's cool as hell. Clap it, woman. Clap it. <laughs> gonna send him back. Hey, they're robots. It's okay. No one was harmed in the production of this video. <laughs> oh, that's the dragon. Okay, it comes in the next episode. Next episode is the final lesson, which is uh, the red chick attacks her, and at the end she gets clapped. Okay, okay. Well, we are sort of learning stuff. Okay. Anyway, I'll be checking those out probably soon. So next time we'll be checking out uh, Cyber Angel Zero Exception and Chapter. Oh, and these are pretty short. I'll probably check these two out as well. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if this list is perfect. If it's good the way it is. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, and I'll catch y'all next time. A uh, quick thank you to the YouTube members and the uh, Patreons. Pedro Martinez, Commands, Kuyo, Natsu, Asterix, Senior Hilton, Lemon, Monarch, Madash, Ronic, Nine, James, Bizonati, Ruiki, Deki, 25, Marco, Mizio, Nicole, Girkiev, Shoda, Leroy, Olivia, and Sangri. Uh, today I'll be streaming some Resident Evil 7. Never played that shit, so if you want to see that, come join me. Anyway, see everybody. Bye.